Hello, my name is Keshwani. <coughs> That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. We have been working on the concept of ratio and proportions for the last few days, from day number 81, I believe. And today is our lesson number 85. Let's begin, let's begin with the ratio problem. Very simple, very straightforward, a very easy ratio problem. Here's what the problem says. It says in a class, in a class of 32 students, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. Question is, question simply is, how many how many boys do we have? Now when I say, when I say, simp when I say that it's a simple, straightforward, easy problem, it is in fact simple, straightforward, easy problem, regardless of which exam you're preparing for. This question, question of this nature will appear as, as a in, in the category of an easy question, whether you're preparing for the ACT or SAT or T's or GMAT or GRE. We are told that the total number is 32. The ratio of boys to girls is... Make sure you, you, you follow the thing here, boys to girls. So boys to girls, we are told is 3 to 5, which means the total parts that we have are 8. The 8 is the total parts and therefore 8 parts we are told equals 32. And that tells us that each part, each part is 4. Each part is 4. How many boys do we have? Boys are 3 parts. Boys are 3 parts which means boys there are 12 boys and 20 girls. 12 boys and 20 girls will make a total of 32 people. So how many boys do we have? We have 12 boys. How many girls do we have? How many girls do we have? We have 20 girls. How else can they ask the question? How else can they ask the question? They may also ask us, they may also ask us what, what fractional, what fractional part of the class is boys? What fractional part of the class is boys? And in a question like this, I have seen people when they, when they see something like this, I've seen many a times students doing work like this, they will say there are 12 boys out of 32 students total, and they divide up and by them by 4, and if you divide 12 by 4, we get 3, if you divide 32 by 4, we get 3, uh, we get 8, and it's 3 out of 8 parts. Boys are 3 out of 8 parts, but I hope that you're able to see right away that all of this is unnecessary. Question here is, what, what fraction part of the class is boys? It's very straightforward. The boys are... Right here, boys are three parts out of a total of, boys are three parts of, out of a total of eight parts. We did that. So we didn't have to do all of this thing. What fraction part of the class is girls? Well, if boys are three parts, girls must be five parts, five out of eight. That's all it is. That's how, that's, that's how simple it is. Let's keep on going. Let's do one more. So don't waste your time trying to figure out the total number of people when they are looking for a fractional part. Just uh, just look at the parts there and just uh, pay attention to that part. Let's do one more. We are told that the bag, we have a bag that contains, bag contains blue and red marbles. We have a bag that contains, we are told, blue marbles and red marbles. In the ratio of, in the ratio of two to five. If there are, if there are eighty-four marbles in the bag, if there are eighty-four marbles in the bag, how many of, how many of each? Exact same question as before, nothing different, we have the same difficulty level, we have, we have blue marbles and red marbles, this is the part you have to pay attention to, make sure which one comes first, because that's what the numbers are related to, so the blue are two parts, red are five parts, blue and red, they are in the ratio of two to five, which means the total parts that we have, total parts, are seven, 
There are seven total parts, and we are told that seven parts are equal to how many? 84. Seven parts equal 84. We have to figure out how many marbles each part is made up of. So let's find out. Each part is made up of 84 divided by 7. Let's do it here so, it, so that we have easier time seeing it. 84 divided by 7. Let's divide 84 by 7. How are we going to do it? Like we always do it. One digit at a time, that is. How many 7s in an 8? 8 has, 8 has 1 7. 8 has 1 7. The remaining one goes and joins the 4. The remaining one goes and joins the 4 and becomes 14. And 14 has 2 7s. 14 has two stones. There you go. Each part is worth 12 marbles. Each part is made up of 12 marbles. That's it. We're done. We just multiply everything by 12 and we're done. This is 12. This is times 12. And this is times 12. The question is, how many blue marbles do we have? We have 24 blue marbles. How many red marbles do we have? It's 12 times 5. 12 times 5 is 60. As you can see, 24 plus 60 equals 84. That's all. Very simple, very straightforward as we said before. Let's do one more. We are told that the parking lot contains a uh, parking lot contains the parking lot we are told contains only red, blue and green cars, red, blue and green cars in the ratio of in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 I'm not going to write down the whole thing on the blackboard to save time it goes on to tell, it goes on to tell us that if there are a total of 168 cars if there are a total of 168 cars how many of each? how many? How many of each? Well, let's do it out, shall we? Let's do it out here. So we have red, blue, and green in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. So first thing we have to figure out is what's the total parts here. Total parts are going to be 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. So we have total 12 parts. That's the total 12 parts. And we know that we have 168 cars, which means 12 part equals 168, which means one part is made up of 168 over 12. 168 over 12. Let's divide 168 by 12 over here. 168 over 12. How many 12 does one have? One has no 12. That one goes and joins the 6, becomes 16. That one goes and joins the 6, becomes 16. How many 12 does 16 have? 16 has 1 12. 16 has 1 12. The remaining 4 from the 16 goes and joins the 8 and becomes 48. How many 12s does 48 have? 48 has 4 12s. 48 has 4 12s. There you go. Each part is made up of 14 cars. That's it. Each part is made up of 14 cars times 14, times 14, times 14, and times 14. I'm going to erase this part so that we, have, we can continue our writing here. So the question is how many of how many of each? Well, three times fourteen, whatever that happens to be, is uh, twelve carry one and four forty-two. Fourteen times four. How much is fourteen times four? How the hell do I know? I know fifteen for fifteen times four. Then I do know. I know fifteen times four is sixty. If fifteen times four is sixty, then fourteen times four instead of four instead of fifteen fours, we have fourteen fours. So just take away one four from the sixty. That's fifty-six. And the, this, this we just talked about. It is this is it's going to be oh, five times. Oh, sorry. This is not fifteen fours. This is five. This is five fourteen. So fourteen fives. Fourteen fives. Well, let's see. Fourteen tens. Fourteen tens would have been one forty. So it's going to be seventy. And if you add them up, make sure that when you add them up, they add up to one hundred and sixty-eight, which they will, which they will, because uh, we have done our math correctly. This is just. Always make sure that you take take an extra second to add up the three numbers and make sure they add up to the total number that they give us, which 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 it will. Two plus six is eight, which is what we have here, eight, and then five plus seven is twelve, twelve plus four is sixteen, which is what we have sixteen here.
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.